Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This week, we're going to be taking a look at coding some procedures for patients who have infectious diseases. Let's have a quick look at some. Patients with infectious disease frequently require some sort of central venous access. This may involve a PIC line, a peripherally inserted central catheter. What happens with this is there's an insertion through the right internal jugular vein with the catheter tip that gets placed into the superior vena cava. This is ICD-10 PCS code 02HV33Z. Please look it up in your ICD-10 PCS book. If we go to the, look for the main term, insertion of a device in, and use this as subterm vena cava, we will get superior 02HV. Then looking at the table, we'll see 02HV33Z. So again, key things to remember here are what section is going to be medical surgical what body system, heart and great vessels, then this is probably at times something that seems a little bit counterintuitive or may not. It involves insertion. And again, this is putting in a non-biological appliance that monitors, assists, performs, or prevents a physiological function, but does not take the place of a body part. So now we have the first three characters. Let's take a look at characters four through seven. And you can see them here. And again, over here, we could insert into any of these, right? And then the approach is how we do it. We don't see too many things open, but we do see things that are percutaneous or percutaneous endoscopic sometimes. Then the sixth character will be what type of device it is. And in this case, it's going to be an infusion device. And then these could be intraoperative, although that's not the case here. It could be biventricular or no qualifier. It's just a pick line. We can also have totally implantable central venous access devices. These are commonly referred to as a portacath. And these are implanted in the chest in the subcutaneous tissue, and then there's a catheter that goes in through the superior vena cava. Going back to our guidelines, we have two devices and therefore two codes. One for the implantable infusion device, the 0JH60XZ, and one for the central line catheter, the 02HV33Z. And again, when we go to the index, it would be an insertion of device in, subcutaneous tissue and fascia of the chest, insertion in vena cava. And eventually these things have to come out, so they're removed. We have a removal of a totally implantable central venous access device, the portacath, if you will, and we remove the two devices. So we have two procedures once again, one for the re removal of the infusion device and one for the removal of the central line catheter. And the codes are 0JPT0XZ. And for the catheter, it's 02PY33Z. Follow along in your code books for these codes. And that's all I have for you. 
please stop by office hours if you have any questions about this material. Thank you, and we'll see you online. Bye now.